All right, well, welcome everyone to the Amherst Design Review Board meeting of April 24th, 2023. My name is Erica Zikos, and as the chair of the Amherst Design Review Board, I'm calling this meeting to order at 5.01 p.m. The meeting is being recorded and will be made available on the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Minutes are being taken. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this Design Review Board meeting will be conducted via remote means using the Zoom platform. The Zoom meeting link is available on the meeting agenda, posted on the town's website calendar listing for this meeting, um, or go to the Design Review Board webpage and click on the most recent agenda, which lists the Zoom link at the top of the page. No in-person attendance of the public is permitted. However, every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the meeting in real time via technological means. In the event that we're unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship or despite best efforts, we will post an audio or video recording, transcript or other comprehensive record of the proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting on the Town of Amherst website. Board member, greetings. Uh, when I take roll call, um, Please uh, unmute yourself, answer in the affirmative, and return to mute. Tom Long. Present. Catherine Porter. Present. Lindsay Schnarr. Present. And we have not, we are awaiting a representative from the Historical Commission. Um, nobody is present tonight. And Eric Zikas, that's me, I'm here. Um, let's see. Board members, if a technical issue arises, uh, we may need to pause temporarily to fix the problem and then continue the meeting. If the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raise hand function to ask a question or make a comment. I will see your request and call on you to speak. Um, after speaking, please remember to re-mute yourself. The general public comment item is reserved for public comment regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda. Please be aware that the board will not respond to comments during the general comment period. Public comment could also be heard at other times during the meeting when determined appropriate. Please indicate your wish to make a comment by clicking the raise hand button when public comment is solicited. If you've joined the Zoom meeting using a telephone, Please indicate your wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the design review board chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, their participation will be discontinued from the meeting. Tonight's agenda includes the following. Uh, let's see, DRB FY 2023, number 19, uh, Joseph Dion of Lazy Lungs Boutique. And again, uh, item 20, Joseph Dion, Lazy Lungs Smoke Shop. And then uh, item 21, Ananda Dali, Blue Mango Cafe. Uh, we'll then uh, approve March 27th meeting minutes, enter general public comment period, and then uh, attend to any other business not anticipated prior to the meeting. Uh, let's get started with uh, number 19, um, Joseph Dion Lazy Longs Boutique. Uh, do we have a representative in attendance tonight? So I just, um, Ron from Lazy Longs is here in the attendees panel. I did just um, invite to make him a panelist, so he has to accept on his uh -huh. end. And once he does, he'll be able to talk to us. Fantastic. And here's Ron now. Ron, can okay, you hear hello. us? Hi, yeah, welcome. I can hear you. Good. How are you doing? All right. Thanks. Um, welcome. We're happy to have you. Are you going to be presenting both the boutique and the smoke shop? Yeah, I will. I mean, Joe's trying to get in with the link. He said he couldn't get in. Um, I'm going to try to send it to him again because I got in with it. So let me just try to send it to him one more time. Mm -hmm. So I, can, I, can, I, I see, can, I um, sorry, I was gonna say, I see Joe right now in the attendees, so he should be on. Do you want me to, okay. nope, is he going to, either one. okay. Do you do want it, me to, the... so do you want me to make him a panelist as well, Erica, just so we can have the both of them. Yeah, talk? let's have, okay. let's have um, Joe join us as well. And then uh, Ron, a question for you is, would you like us to do the screen sharing or are you prepared to, to show the, 
uh, images on your screen? I, I would like you to do it only for the simple reason my babe, my daughter had a doctor deployment. So I'm kind of like, like all on the road. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. I'm here. All right, welcome. All right, welcome. Joe. Got a bit of the going on here with the sound. Um, all right, so I I have a handful of images from your proposal. These three. Um, if you would please uh, introduce us to your project and tell me which images you'd like to see, I will continue sharing them. Okay, well, I see the one that you have that's going into the alley. Okay, the, the, there really isn't a project. So the sign that you're looking at right now was already there. We just put the lettering on it. Okay, and that's all we did. So there was really nothing there. The sign was there and we put, the, we put new lettering on it. It had the name of the old business on it. Sure. And if you go to the next one, um, okay, well, this, this is going to be the new one, okay? This does not have a sign there yet, and basically that is just going to be a sticker that goes on the door, and the sign underneath it is just the, um, the 21, you have to be 21 to enter, that is supplied by the Massachusetts um, tobacco industry. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, again, this was already there. All we did was change the name and the lettering on the front but the canopy and everything was already there. It just had the previous business um, bef before we put ours over it. Sure. Joe, anything to add? No, that's it. All right. And then I pulled up the street view, the Google street view. So we're talking about this yeah, canopy. Yeah, see how we change it? This is the yeah. additional elevation exactly. sign on the door? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, let's see, I'll go back to your image. Um, I don't have any significant concerns. I'd love to open this up to other members of the DRB if you have questions or comments for the record. Tom? Thanks, uh, Erica. Thanks, Joe and Ron. Uh, my question was really just about the um, mass signage. I'm trying to figure out um, are those two different main entrances or are they, are they linked internally so that we only have one main entrance and do we require additional signage, for instance, the, the, the um, there's two, there's two main entrances, excuse me, sir, there's two main entrances because they are two separate entities. Okay. One is, one is Lazy Lungs LLC doing business as Lazy Lungs Smoke Shop and the other one is Lazy Lungs LLC doing business as Lazy Lungs Boutique. Got it, okay. Yes, yeah, sorry if I didn't make that clear. It is actually two separate applications. It's just yeah. the, yeah. Yeah, no, I saw that. I was just, I was trying to figure out whether whether they were connected or whether we need signage on both of those talking yeah. about being 21 or older or if that's just for the boutique. Yeah. And Lindsay, I see your hand. Yes, hi. Um, so my question is if the signage has already been made or if this is a digital um, image. On, the, on, the one, on the one we're looking at? Um, on either, but I'm more, more um, curious about the, the, one, the awning. The one, the one on the alley and the yawning have already been done. The one on the door hasn't been done yet. Yes, this one has been done? That has been done. Okay. So, um, you know, it makes it hard for us to comment if it's already been made in terms of giving you any suggestions that you can really utilize. If, if it hadn't been made, I would, I would say that I think one of the strengths of the previous sign that may be something you could use here is um, just the clarity of the smoke shop aspect. Um, and the phone number and the website feel feel like information that would would likely be listed somewhere else. Um, and the signage on the front of the building would would more benefit from the name of the business which you have and the function. So um, 
I feel like the phone number and the website seem like they just they just seem like they're taking up a lot of real estate that could be used more valuably if you were to list what you're what you're serving, what your business offers. Um, but I don't know if that's something that I mean it sounds like that's kind of not useful now. Well, I think that's under, within our purview, Lindsay. I think you make a very good point. I mean, we are here to serve as an advisory. And if we wanted to recommend changes, we certainly could do that. Okay. I I do I do think, and I'd be curious to hear other people's thoughts, that um, unless the phone yeah. number and website are things that you're not, um, that, that you want to be really visible in that way. I, I just, I do think that it would be useful. I, I can't quite see what it says underneath the Lazy Lungs in blue boutique. Yes. Boutique. And is it a smoke shop? The, the other side's a smoke shop. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, it might just be helpful, especially given that the, the name of the yeah. business is sort of, you know, it's a um a very stylized font and I think it's playful and I have no problem with that but it is a little hard to read especially from a distance and so it might be helpful to have some kind of just very clean graphics off to the side that indicate what you're selling at the boutique so that people might have a sense before entering I think that sometimes when people don't know exactly what the business is selling they might be more hesitant to enter yeah, um, I'm my, sorry, I'm just going to step in. Um, so I completely agree and I understand where you're coming from. The, the reason why the phone number was put up there was because there was a big confusion from the old business. We wanted to separate ourselves from, you know, bad reviews that were there from the old business. We wanted to bring something very much different to the town and to the people. Um, so we wanted to kind of showcase that with a phone number because we did change the phone number. So a lot of people were really trying to call and We've been closed for a very long time. I acquired this business, uh, Ron, you probably know better, but I mean, it's probably been three, four months um, since we've even been able to open. Um, and I've been paying for the old employees and keeping the employment on there. Um, so, you know, the reason why the signage got there was because, you know, we wanted to let them know something new was coming. We wanted to showcase that. Um, There's a kind of a droppage in, in, you know, with communication with, you know, we submitted everything and then I guess someone got sick or disappeared for a little bit and we were waiting months to get even to where we are today. Um, so we kind of pushed a little further than we should have maybe and we didn't really know what the, the town of Amherst wanted with the sign boardage. Um, also, we didn't change the awning because the awning was, you know, obviously extremely expensive and then, you know, obviously we would have to go through a lot more jumps to change that. So we just did the vinyl stickering over. Um, which doesn't allow us for more real estate for the logo. Um, it kind of only gives us, you know, a small little space. Um, and the way the, 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 the logo was is just not really stretchable to be bigger, it felt. Um, in doing so, we also changed from that being just a smoke shop to now being a boutique, which sells multitude of stuff, whether it be clothing, candles, um, incense oils, crystals. We do all sorts of different things such as that. And now the other side is just the tobacco, which is more of the smoke shop, um, would say. Did anyone hear me? Yep, we heard you. Sorry, yep. I was just waiting yep. for any feedback from the yeah, I think, I mean, I think that all makes sense and it's helpful to know the history. Um, I think just as an onlooker, the perspective is um, that, you know, that that space with the phone number and the website, I, st I still think could be um, offering information to people passing by about the things that you're selling that you listed that I think could be very, um, you know, useful to advertise. Um, but I understand you know, I I truly completely agree with you, and again, I think I just didn't want to be too loud with it. Just you know, and and you know, it's it's definitely a, a more token thing nowadays. But you know, if you look in the glass, you can in, and through the glass, you can see the shelves. There's there's a whole bunch of display cases, and there is glass pieces there, and you know, very much saying that it is a glass store. Um, 
but yeah, I, I didn't want to be super loud with it and, you know, be overly, you know, um, you know, tobacco or, or, you know, glass product, glassware, whatever you may have. Um, so I kind of kept it more subtle and didn't want to be too loud for the town in that sense. All right. Well, let's see, let's, um, board, let's have a, a discussion then about whether we would like to take up Lindsay's recommendations or given that this is already in place, uh, just move to approve as is. Catherine? Well, yeah, I 100% agree with Lindsay. Uh, and but what if any if what can be done at this point I don't know I like the color it really pops out but it's really hard to read uh, in that script and uh, again that's what you've decided to do but uh, just looking at it and from the parking lot uh, I think it's gonna be hard to read nobody's gonna have a clue as to what it is uh, and to me the the phone number and the website uh, are just superfluous. I mean, yeah, don't see why they're there. But uh, so I'm just going to say what I 100% agree with Lindsay. She took the words out of my mouth. Okay. We've been doing this a long time together, Catherine. So maybe we're just starting <laughs> right. to do things. <laughs> well, we could, we could make a recommendation um, that the, the, only be revised at this point that the phone number and web address come off the awning and uh, are included in the window as a vinyl sticker. Um, and that if the awning then was going to be renovated, that sounds like the logo itself can't change, right? The proportions are the proportions. Um, but we could ask you to, if you wanted to add to the Awning that it might say boutique or smoke shop there. Lindsay, am I capturing you correctly? Yeah, and I guess, you know, just to, and, and with respect to, um, you know, at this already having been made and, and trying to minimize cost, I, I don't know if there's a simple way of, of doing that, but I think that we would, you know, we would certainly be supportive of, however, the most yeah. economical approach. Um, this is the place where our role as an advisory board and not as a right. It, it doesn't become a mandate. Um, right. So we can make the recommendation, thinking of the best interest of the town, and then they can follow through if they like. Yeah. Um, Tom, are you on on board with this? Yeah, I mean, seeing as though it's already there, I don't necessarily. I wouldn't necessarily think that we would need to change it and, and they're the business owners and if they think that those are the that's the information that people need in order to understand it's a new business and, and yeah. maybe they buy stuff online i'm not sure but um i, I do agree that it, it would be nice to have a little bit more information about what we're selling and and you have a lot of glass there to do that and so that might be a future permit to put some of that information on the glass um or to put it um you know again replace the phone number and website up top and put that down on the glass and put some other mm -hmm. there. But but I agree, I don't I don't get a sense of, you know, the idea that this is a boutique and not necessarily a tobacco shop. I think that they're, you know, differentiating those two fronts is going to be really helpful for your audience. So like, where do I go for this? Where do I go for that? Um, so I do think that for your own sake, it would be beneficial to try to differentiate that for them. My, my guess is that they might know that already by the time they get there, but um, I, I do think it would be important to, to, to do that in the future. But again, in terms of this already being created, I don't really know uh, if I'd force them to change it at this point or at least encourage them to change it, but I would think about um, some information to tell us what it is that we're looking at in each of these shops. I uh, I completely agree with you guys, and I think you know moving forward, I think that is the plan to definitely better it. I think putting the new phone number out there is to let them know that there is a number change. Um, but I think moving forward, yes, I think what our plan would be to do is to completely redo the on and completely redo everything. But you know, as a business owner, and I have seven businesses currently, I think right now, you know, I need to get you know, and I've been paying employees for the last three four months now. You know, that's a huge expense. Um, I think moving forward, I think, you know, I'm just 
trying to get us open and get us going. And then, you know, yes, there will be improvements. We didn't do plan on, I've been talking to Barry um, about repainting the whole building and, you know, cleaning up the whole place and the parking lot and, you know, bringing a lot of benefits to the area of over there. But, um, and I do agree. I just don't know if that's in the budget at this moment, but, um, you know, I definitely right. like to get things better. And, and I do agree with you guys. Lindsay, I'm going to make a suggestion, and that is that we approve it as is, and then remind Joe and Ron and <laughs> at all that um, they should come to the design review board first before implementing any additional changes for the next round. Of course. Sounds good to me. All right. So and then I need a motion to, to move uh, forward. So moved. I'll second that. <laughs> All right, grand. Um, all those in favor of approving uh, both uh, application 19 and 20 for Lazy Lungs Smoke Shop and Boutique, not necessarily in that order, uh, please raise your hand. And that's it. That's everyone. Thank you both for coming. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Have you. Have a great evening. Good night, guys. Take care. Thank you. Thanks. Get my documents. Uh, next up is Blue Mango. And I'm wondering if anybody is here to represent uh, number or item 21, perhaps Ananda Dali or someone from Chuck Signs. So there is. Um... David Dolly, who's in the attendees, so I'll promote him to be a panelist so he can speak. He just has to accept it once I okay. enable that. Yeah, All right. Here we're um, another new sign. Hi there, can you hear us? Uh, uh, hi, yes, I can hear you. And who are we speaking with? Yeah, this is David Daly. Hi, David. Hi. We can hear you. We can't see you. I don't know if you intended to have your camera on. Um, would There we go. Hi. Greetings. Welcome. Um, would you like me to screen share for you, or are you able to do that? Uh, if you could do that, that would be great. That would be helpful. Okay. Thank you. Great. All right. So I have your application and the image that you sent. Yes. Um, great. You want to give us an introduction to what you're thinking? Uh, yeah, we're, you know, the, the plan um, has been to open a, a dessert cafe here. So um, this is the, uh, the sign that we came up with. Um, is there a way for me to share an image? Yeah, if I stop share, you should be able to put up. I just, okay. Um, where would I attach an image? If you open it on your computer, um, and then once you choose screen share, it should allow you to pick from any open documents. Okay, okay, let me try that. Um, final sign, uh, okay. Um, uh, oh, here we go. All right, share screen, desktop. Uh, oh boy. This is, <laughs> um, okay, here we go. I think I got it. Um, this, da, 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 da. Boy. Oh. Mm. Oh, just, I think, maybe, got it, maybe. No. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Um, okay, desktop. Okay, I got it. Yeah, I think I figured this out. But... You know, for some of us, Zoom is second nature and some of us have quickly forgotten how to <laughs> do all the things. Yeah, I, I attached an image. I don't know if you can see it though. No. No. Um, have you floated over the, are you on a PC? No, I'm on a Mac. Um, I don't know who else is on a Mac. I don't know where the screen share option is. 
generally down right down on the bottom. Yeah, yeah I, right in the bottom middle. Yeah. I got that. Basically, um, I'm trying to share with you an updated image. Um, but basically it you could email it to Rob Wachilla and then he could share it. Okay. I'll let me do that. Um Okay, let's, I'll do that right now. So I'm going to email and I'm going to email to Rob, right? Yep. Okay, perfect. This should be very fast. And here we go. And attaching and sending. Okay, perfect, sent. So it's basically the same exact artwork. Um, it's just that the top of the sign has now become like a, a just a basic rectangle instead of the letters being sort of protruding at the top because we found out that that actually costs quite a lot more. But All right. Looks, yeah, it looks almost identical. But yeah, can you share that, Rob? Yep. Here you okay. go. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. That's the um, the most uh, recent uh, version of what we're planning. And uh, yeah, I mean, we went through many, we tried many different uh, colors. And um, this is a project I've been working on with my son. So um, we tried many different colors. And um, he, he's, he's uh, a, a little picky. And so this is uh, what, what you know, we settled on that um, he really liked and we all kind of liked, we thought it was um, really eye catching. And this would be a, a box sign uh, that would have uh, lights behind the like plexiglass um, front. So it would light up from the back. So the, like all the white letters would light up white. Um, of course the black would just stay black. And then the blue mango lo uh, logo would light up in that blue color. Right. Um, and what are your plans for the awning that says Hair East? Oh, well, we would just be removing that. Are there other signs along the top? Uh, I forget. I've been driven by that about a hundred thousand times, but no, there's not. There's the only sign on the the uh, correct on there with the shops. Yeah, yeah. correct. Okay. Yeah, we've got it's Coronation Cafe next door now. Yeah, yeah the, other, right. the other business to the left is the Coronation Cafe and you, right. can, you can see what they've done there on the left. They have a like an awning sign, but it's a bit narrow, maybe about 15 inches. Um, and that's that's how their sign works. But theirs doesn't light up. They're, they're a daytime business and our hours would be more of an evening business. Um, the proposed hours were opening at a one o'clock in the afternoon until around 10 o'clock at night and 11 o'clock on the weekends. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's really important that our sign lights up and is noticeable at night. Whereas for the Coronation Cafe, that's not an issue for them at all. They close at um, three o'clock in the afternoon every day. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, they, I remember that when we approved the Coronation Cafe, there was some discussion as to what they were going to be. There was already some lettering on the upper area there, and they were going to re remove it and put new menu items on it. That's why I'm asking. I so yeah, they, they haven't done anything on that upper area. No. All right. Okay. But of course, the Harry sign we have to remove that. That's from the. We would have yeah. to remove that. that's from the previous business. Yeah. And it also sort of really, the hair east sort of really, I think, blocks the the front of the space the way it is too. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, we'd have to remove that. Yeah. And then, and David, there's nothing, um, this part of your proposal tonight that is uh, window signage or signage on the door with ours um, or your logo. Is that something that you anticipate and you'll come back to us for? Uh, I didn't realize that you needed uh, that at the design review board, but if you do, yeah, then I guess we could come back to 
another meeting. We thought it was just uh, only about the main sign. Okay, all right. Uh, I see Tom and Lindsay, so I'll go to Lindsay first this time um, for questions and comments. My question, maybe you said this, I apologize if I missed it. Is the, is the sign sitting flush with the face of that fascia panel? Or yes, is it yeah, cor from it? correct. But it's, um, it has lights in it. So I believe it's an aluminum box. The depth of it would be about, it's mounted on the fascia, mm -hmm. but it has a depth of probably about um, like seven inches. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, um, you know, it's it would be not seeing the whole building. It feels like it would it would be ideal to have it be in line with the signage, the adjacent signage, um, and and the black area just extend the full width of that storefront um, between the the kind of left column and the the right. Um, it's not really a column, but um, railing. Mm -hmm. So I think in a, just from where I'm, where, you know, what we can see here, that would be my recommendation is to have it, have the sign be in line with the, with the adjacent signage. Um, but our sign is actually taller than theirs. Mm -hmm. um, so it would be very close to like hitting your head on it. If we put it underneath that awning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess you know it's a little hard to tell how, what the depth is on that roof overhang. I'm guessing it's I don't know. Oh, it's, it's like four feet mm -hmm. or three. Yeah. yeah, three to four feet. I um, I pulled up the Google Street View, but unfortunately, it still barts. Yeah. Like Google <laughs> hasn't caught up with us right. yet, so it doesn't. It's not that helpful. But um, you can see that the roof does. I'm going to relinquish my turn and let Tom speak because I don't really have anything more articulate to say. All right. Tom, go ahead. Thanks, Lindsay. Um, so I, I was going to say uh, two things, and one was related to the window sign that I think Erica brought up, which is that your sign would be really, really difficult to see as a pedestrian walking down the street on that side of the road because it would be perpendicular to your view. And you'd almost never see it as a pedestrian. So all the people leaving all the new restaurants on that side of the street, walking back towards the bus stop or to the UMass campus, probably wouldn't see your sign if they were new to the area, especially if they weren't crossing the street. So just a sense of putting something on the glass is going to be really helpful, um, or putting up some kind of blade sign or something that's perpendicular that will let people know what's happening. Um, if I can share my screen quick, um, I know you just mentioned you were on the, um, <clears throat> uh, what's it called, um, the Google Maps, but um, let me see if I can share this. I think you might want to consider um, taking a look at where your sign is placed when there's actually a tree there. Yeah. Um, because I don't think that it's going to be very visible, even from other angles, um, much of it hiding behind the tree when it's in full bloom. So any recommendation to drop that below that fascia or below the overhang might be helpful. Again, the tree will grow, um, so um, <laughs> you might get a little more clearance under there. But, um, but it's pretty much blocking from the other side of the street as well. So your prime real estate really is down here um, on the glass. So just a recommendation. I have no problem with your sign at all. I just, I'm gonna recommend that I, I think it's not gonna be very visible and get you the kind of um, visibility that you are hoping to see as a new business. So uh, I think doing something down lower or perpendicular is gonna be really helpful for you as a business owner. Yeah, thank you. That's a very good uh, observation. I guess maybe because it's winter, I didn't notice all the leaves on the tree there. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I, I I tend to agree with um, Tom. I, I like the sign. I think you've done a nice job with the, you know, your particularities about the the blue, I think is lovely and the, the lighting is going to be great, but I, um, 
I feel as though when we're looking at the two businesses that, you know, it's, it's, it's in a single building, two storefronts, and then there's this, you know, one of them has a low sign and the other has a high sign. It, it might feel a little bit disconnected. Um, so while I like the design and think it's great that it lights up, I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to be all for naught <laughs> um, during. Those are some very uh, good uh, comments there. We'll have to. Um... We'll have to, I guess, maybe give it some more thought. Mm -hmm. yeah. Catherine, did you have any thoughts to share? Well, yeah, I would like to see it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm glad Tom brought up the point of the tree because that a sign's going to be absolutely useless with the, with leaves on the tree. I think it would look better just for that little for that small uh, building if the signs were uh, at the same height. Uh, it'd be smoother looking, I think more attractive than having one up and one down. I do think it's great that it's lighted. Now, whether that's going to happen if the uh, sign is lowered, I'm not sure if all of that can, can be worked out, but I like the sign. I agree. It's a, it's a good logo, good look, but... Uh, Maybe there could be a um, consider a narrow awning to re replace, take down the hair east awning, re mm. match the height of the Coronation Cafe yeah. awning uh -huh. with your kind of standard logo and then consider a lighted sign in the window perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think um, those are really good comments. I think we probably need to uh, give it some more discussion. Okay. Um, so would that mean, you know, we do have time. Um, so perhaps we could, uh, you know, give it more thought and more discussion and play around with it a little bit with some new ideas and then maybe uh, come back again for the next uh, month's meeting. Yeah, oh. we do. We meet monthly at this time slot. So we'd be happy right. to. Yeah, so perhaps we could do that then. Okay. When are you so, uh, plan to open? Well, the, the original target date was uh, like August 1st. So, but we'll, we'll see, see what happens in, in actually, yeah. Uh, Sure. There's uh, so many steps in the process. Go ahead, Rob. So just a heads up to the board. Um, usually um, we schedule these like the last Monday of every month, as you're aware. So the 29th is a holiday. So mm -hmm. the next meeting for next month will be on May 22nd at 5 p.m., just for reference for everybody. Okay, Thank sure. I'll, I'll write it down. Um, okay. So yeah, I think we'd like to uh, take all of your um, comments and in, into consideration and then uh, try to see if we can come up with some new ideas maybe. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for being um, willing to hear those recommendations. Mm -hmm. uh, it sounds like as kind of everybody's on board with the idea of making a motion to yes. um, table this with some recommendations for a redesign and come back. Yes. All right. Catherine, you want to be the... Yes, I move that we table this uh, petition and uh, until uh, the next meeting to give them time to uh, make some adjustments. All right. Sounds, and, sounds good. Um, All right. Thanks. This is the second. second. <laughs> um, okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Great. Thank you. That's everyone. Well, thank you very much for, for sharing your um, project with us and we'll see you on May 2nd. Yeah, good luck. All right. Thanks so much. Um, yeah. Talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Bye. Uh, let's see. Thanks, everyone. Um, okay. So approval of meeting minutes is what's next on the agenda. Did everyone have a chance to take a look at those mm -hmm. from the last meeting? I wasn't present for that meeting. So I don't know if you have a quorum without me to approve it. Yeah, I th yeah. think we do. Yeah, yeah. We need three. Um, that is correct. You do need three. So as long as three of you are here and vote, oh, right. it'll be fun. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Tom or Catherine, do you have any? Uh, comments about the content? No, I don't. 
I didn't either. I thought they were fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that we accept the um, minutes of the what March, what of those uh, March 27th. Okay, March 27th. Paul. <laughs> All those in favor? <laughs> Aye, and one abstention. Great, thanks. Um, is anybody here from the public tonight? They came and went. They came and went. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any other business? Well, I have a, just a, I don't know, point of clarification. Um, this is the second time we've had somebody come to us for approval of a sign that's already been made. And I don't know how we can derail that, but I mean, the, one, the other one was something to do with chicken and, or rooster or something. Uh, and it's already done. And uh, there's, there's something not right about that. I mean, it's not like we're that important that we can't sit and listen to it one more time, but it doesn't make us look that good if we're looking at somebody's sign that's already up. Uh, I don't know how, how we can avoid that in the future. So a lot of it comes from usually code enforcement, and we usually don't hear about these types of things until either A, somebody complains about it, or B, we just notice it from the street. So it's possible they had the decals changed without the town knowing. And so usually the best way to find out about these things is through the two options I just told you. Um, so that's most likely why uh, you see that happening. It doesn't happen as often because people usually come to the town first and ask, hey, what do I do with this? And usually they do that beforehand, which is why you've only seen this happen twice. Well, maybe more, but in recent times, yeah. in yeah. the last couple of months. Um, yeah, I don't know how the town can, in the process. I remember, Michael, I'm getting very angry about that a few times because it did used to happen more, I think, and it hasn't happened as much recently. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah or, or when they do, like, our last um, presenter, you know, oh, I didn't realize it was also about what's on the window. Um, mm -hmm. So I think... You know, we've seen the majority of people kind of understanding the process and somebody slips mm -hmm. through from time to time, but um, I keep we're coming back to the notion that we are an advisory board and if we want to make recommendations, you know, to improve the street face of the town of Amherst that we can certainly do that. It's not as a not make not suggesting changes as a means of punishment for saying you you went out of order here, but um, you know, if we have recommendations to give that we should give them, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and it's up to. It's not a big deal, but it's, yeah. it could be a big deal. Yeah. Chris, I see your hand and I'm curious if you wanted to jump in on this or if it's a different topic. It's a different topic. Okay. Any other thoughts on this? I don't know whether the paperwork that people have to, who are coming to establish a new business, if, if the paperwork they're presented with tells them right up the first line, don't do anything until you've gone through the various boards. Maybe it already says that they don't count. We don't count. It's, it's all right. I just had to get that off of my chest to think, you know, this is the second and a couple we of count, times. We count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we count to some extent. Okay. Oh, I just wanted to say how happy we are to have Rob Wachilla as part of our team now. And I wasn't sure if you'd all had a chance to meet him, but he's a planner who went to UMass and got his degree there in regional planning. And he's worked for the town of Ware for a number of years. And now um, <clears throat> he's working with us and he's going to be staffing the Zoning Board of Appeals and the Design Review Board and probably a number of other things, but we didn't want to overload him all at once. So we're very happy to have him. And I just wanted to make sure that you all had had an opportunity to meet him. Yes. Yeah. Very good. I have not. So nice to meet you, Rob. Nice to meet you, Rob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. I, I appreciate the the warm welcome, Chris. That was a uh, that was thoughtful. And I look forward to working with you guys moving forward. Okay. Same. <laughs>
Wonderful. All right. Um, any other thoughts or shall we move to adjourn? I move that we adjourn. I'll second that. Tom's on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure as always. Um, and so did, if I'm hearing Rob correctly, um, that our next meeting would be moved to um, May 2nd. 22nd. Yep. 22nd. 22nd. May 22nd. Oh, okay. Sorry. May 22nd. Okay. Wonderful. See you all soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Thank Ciao. you. Bye, Bye, everybody. See you. Thank you, Erica.